Well, we certainly have seen some great action over the last eight hours. Hope you've been with us for uh, uh, some of that uh, eight-hour period. If you have been with us all morning, well, congratulations. But you've seen some marvellous action, and that's going to continue here on Channel 7 right throughout the day. In a moment, we'll be taking you to the inimitable Lewis Richards, who'll be comparing the annual North Melbourne breakfast. Then it's over to the MCG with the Under-19s Grand Final. I'll be joined by Jack Edwards, the Army Reserve Cup to follow with Sandy Roberts and Peter McKenna, and the big one at 2.30, the VFL. Grand Final. It is a great day of football here in Melbourne every year. 1985 is no exception. Thanks for joining us. Have a wonderful day's viewing and if you're an Essendon or a Hawthorne supporter, the best of luck. Countdown continues as Seven Sport presents our traditional warm-up to that one day in September. The North Melbourne Football Club Grand Final Breakfast. Ladies and gentlemen, to all Channel 7 viewers, welcome to the 1985 North Melbourne Grand Final Breakfast. And once again, we have a big crowd. I think there's 1,250 people here at the Southern Cross Ballroom. And the place is really setting the pattern for the uh, atmosphere for the grand final today. And there's no doubt that the head table is getting bigger and bigger every year. And I certainly hope all you gents on the main table enjoy your breakfast this morning. Seeing that North can't claim this on a tax deduction, they're calling it the Last Supper. <laughs> and it's great. Well, I actually, I'm rather surprised to see the Prime Minister here this morning. I understand some smarty told Bob it was the North Melbourne Bicentennial Breakfast. <laughs> I reckon Bob's aged uh, 200 years over the last couple of weeks. And I can think of 500,000 reasons why, can't you? <laughs> and it's great to see the leader of the opposition, John Howe, here for the first time this morning. Give him a big hand, ladies and gentlemen. I reckon John should have been a taxidermist. He's already stuffed one bird, the peacock. <laughs> now he's after the big one, the hawk. <laughs> and it's great to see Victoria's leader of the opposition, Minister for Italian Affairs here. <laughs> Casanova, Jeff Kennett. You certainly fixed up those Italian beauties the other day, Jeff. So wonder you didn't finish up with a horse's head in your bed. <laughs> and a big welcome to Steve Crabb, the Minister for Employment and Industrial Affairs. It's always puzzled me, Steve, what uh, an industrial affair is. What is it, a bit of a cattle after a union meeting? <laughs> and our old friend Senator Don Chips here once again. Mention anything atomic and he goes off with a bang. He's so crook on France, he refused a French roll for breakfast this morning. So Pierre, the uh, head waiter, gave him a croissant. And it's also great to see Senator John Button here too, because he's a one-eyed Geelong supporter. And I reckon John's about the only bloke down at Geelong who hasn't stabbed Tommy Hapy in the back. Well, Bob Davis, his mates haven't left much room for that, have they? How you, Tom? It's good to see you, mate. See you up in Sydney with Dr. Edelson, eh? Bit of money hanging around there too, isn't there? 
And it's great to see my old mate Mick Young here again today. Mick, uh, is there any chance of you organising a job in Canada for me? If I can't get you a paddock, I'll certainly bring you back a grizzly bear. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, that head, uh, finishes the head table lineup. We'll take this commercial break and be back in a few moments. The epic adventures of Smithy, an Australian legend, now a magnificent multi-million dollar miniseries, coming soon to Seven. It's goodbye wife, hello new life. Tomorrow night, Bert Reynolds is starting over. He's rediscovering romance, rediscovering himself, and rediscovering his wife. After seven years of marriage, it's now the single life. A whole new world with a whole new set of rules. And he's breaking them all, one by one. For the first hilarious time on television, a very different love triangle, starring Burt Reynolds, Jill Clayburgh, and Candy Spurgeon. Tomorrow at 8.30, they're all starting over on 7. Hands up, all those who wear Seiko. It's summer again. The T-shirt is in. They're cool and they're loose. Whatever you choose, it's gotta be bonds. If you've got a chest, a chest is best. Classic styles never change, that's why we're ahead of the rest. For sport or for fun, this penguin's the one. The way that they knit, make sure of the fit. It's gotta be bonds. It's gotta be bonds. Hey, Dandy Sound does it again with this Pioneer Car Stereo, which features Stereo AM, preset tuning and auto replay. Match with a 60-watt 10-band graphic equaliser and two-way 70-watt speakers. Slash to a crazy $557 or $461 per week. Plus, wait for it, $100 cash back for your old car stereo system. At Dandy Sound's five fantastic locations. Melbourne, they've really got you covered for sound. It's Dandy Sound. Twice as passionate, twice as daring, twice as devastating. Lace 2, the sensational sequel, commencing Monday 8.30 on 7. <laughs> 